Is it not working? Am I on Twitch? Am I on Twitch? Did it fuck up? Uh, did it fuck up? Did it fuck up? Or am I on YouTube? Am I on YouTube? It's not showing I'm on YouTube. Oh, I guess it is working on YouTube. Yay! Okay. It, sorry, I'm using uh, I'm using Streamlabs OBS for the first time. So, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. So my buddy Zodiac's done this recently where he just kind of does these like solo hangout chit chat streams. And so I thought I'd give it a try. Just test out the waters. So how are you guys doing on this fine Thursday? So yeah, uh, just so you know, I won't be drawing or anything. Um, just kind of, just, just, I don't know. I want to try it. <laughs> Um, it's funny because I'm seeing more and more people do this, you know, where, um, they do these kind of chit chats, hang out with people and I'm like, yay, more people are doing, I don't know, I like these. I've always kind of like just like listening to these in the background and, and junk. So I'm also happy to know that, uh, Streamlabs OBS is working. I'm still trying to learn it. I prefer hearing you talk. Thank you. How that money is mine. Yay. That's good to know. That's good to know. And yay, Teeny, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> I was going to sleep another 30 minutes and then I got this notification. Oh, thank you. I, I am like the same way. I don't know. With certain YouTubers I watch, it's like, if I'll get a notification on my phone and then I'll, I'm like kind of like having a like groggy day or whatever, I'm like, fuck it. Even if I don't get out of bed, I'm going to watch this on my phone. <laughs> Currently playing Persona. Oh, cool. I've never actually played Persona. Um, I've tried. But I feel like Persona is a game you have to be willing to get invested in. And I don't have time for that anymore. Uh, especially recently, right now. Um, I might actually, tomorrow, I might try to stream some Warframe with my friends. And junk. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've mostly been streaming on Twitch because I, I fucked up my sleep schedule again. Um, and with YouTube's algorithm and junk, I can't stream at night. Well, when we move, I can because I'll be able to talk. But um, until then, right now, my current work setup is in the bedroom. And Cody has to wake up really early for work. So when I work at night... Pretty much because of how early Cody has to wake up. Um, after 10 o'clock my time, I can't stream. And there are many times where I'm like, uh, a f ooh, did I hear a fellow Warframe player? That is right. I love Warframe. Um, but, uh, yeah, because of that, I can't really stream. And because of YouTube, I'd have to be very selective with what I even have play in the background. And so I can't focus my time on drawing because of the fact that, like, if my video gets uh, copyright striked, then the whole, like, almost all the audio of the video is gone. Um, I've actually had some people come back and ask me questions on, um, I believe it was my adoptable video? Bad video settings. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Is my stream health okay? Is my stream health okay? Can you guys tell me if it's okay or not? If I should just switch to OBS? Like normal OBS? Because on YouTube it's saying I have bad video settings and I don't... I don't want to deal with that right now. Okay, okay. Then then my YouTube's being just dumb. Uh, I'm, I'm just happy to make sure the stream's okay. Thanks, guys. Um... Because, yeah, I, I don't want to be, like, mid-sentence and then it just cut me off or something. Um, do you want to do the sortie together? Yeah? I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, Warframe is a really good... It's a really fun free-to-play game. I'm usually really picky with free-to-play games, even more so when it's, like, online free-to-play games. But it's really, really fun. Uh, Cody and his friends really liked Dest Destiny when Destiny came out. And when Destiny 2 came out. But, like... Eh, a little blurry, but it's not that car. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, 
I'm not drawing anything. I'm just talking. So, um, hey Twist, have you made a comic? I'm currently working on my first one. I need advice. No, I've not made a comic. I'm sorry. Uh, some good people to ask for that would be uh, like go through some of Zodiac streams. I know he talks about comics a lot. Holly Brown's also really good about comics. Um. I know my buddy Anna's working on a comic, but she, I don't think, has, like, enough advice right now, because she's still working on it, but, yeah. Yeah, for the most part, just started. Uh, so I've only been live for, like, five minutes, according to YouTube. According to the tubes of you. Hey, do you have any tips about style and art? I've recently been trying to draw and have awesome expectations on how I think the piece of work, but I always dislike it, the end product. Um... Honestly, uh, that could be like a whole topic video on its own right. I think I've done one. I think I did one. Did I do one on style? I don't, I don't even remember at this point. That's that's how bad it is. I'm so overworked and so stressed out with everything going on. Um, <laughs> um, we're actually meeting with the DJ today to get hopefully the last of the things paid off. Ugh, it's 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 killing us, but uh. We'll be done soon. Yay. Uh, my day's, my day's going well. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Um, but yeah, no, the, the whole art style thing. I feel like, cause I have that too. Like I'll have ideas in my head and then I'll draw it out and then it will look nothing like I see in my head. And I think that's just something that artists have to deal with, which is why you have to practice, learn anatomy, do studies, uh, do props. It's one of my biggest things is do props. And then, um, when you're done, you uh you slowly get better and your 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 style just slowly starts to form. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, you're not sort of level yet. When did you start? Who'd you pick? Oh oh, the Warframe question. Well, I started with my Tenno was. Oh, shit, I was so bad. Um, I forget what the name of it was, but it was my Tenno was the one with the pull ability. And then shortly after I started playing game with my friends, um, I ended up just saying, fuck it. I had a little bit of extra cash and I bought an Octavia. So I've been playing as the Octavia since. I normally never do that. And I know you can get the Octavia by playing it, but I was like, eh, I want to, I want to be special. And I have money for once. And that was also my way of saying I'm going to get invested in this game as I bought, I bought a, I bought a Warframe. <laughs> You don't have to buy it. It's what I like about Warframe, guys. It is free to play. Um, if you want to get credits faster, you can buy it. But you can also do it by working your way up. And it's not, like, a douchebag or hard to do. You did do a style video. Thank you, Teeny. Thank you for reminding me. So, yeah, I guess I did do a style video on my channel somewhere. <laughs> um... How should someone start off doing commissions? Um, I actually did the audio for this a little while ago, but uh, the big way to start doing commissions is uh, to be very fast and not go into too much detail is make a commission sheet, have proper references, be very clear, have everything written out, and then post it. Chances are... Uh, chances are you're probably not going to have a lot of fish bite the hook very quickly. I know I didn't. So you just got to keep making work even if you don't get commissioned. That's a big thing. A lot of people um, get like really disheartened when they don't get commissions and they're like, fuck it, if I'm not getting paid, why am I going to draw at all? And it's like, well, if you're not going to draw at all, people aren't going to see that you're active. People aren't going to see that your art's improving and they're not going to want to commission you for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this whole like weird cycle. But with my Twitch Primes, I get Warframe Primes for free. I should look into that. I'm pretty bad. I'm, like, really bad at looking into things I already have. Because I have... I, I believe I have Twitch Prime. Because I have Prime and I have Twitch. Um, for some reason, it says that this was streamed five days ago. <laughs> what? YouTube, get your shit together. Um, have you ever heard of Trip Become Human? It's a longer game, but 10 hours, I think it's really good. Uh, yeah, I've heard Detroit Become Human. Uh, Cody and I really want to play that one. Probably won't stream it, but we like, um, those, those type of games. We've played, well, he hasn't played this one, but I've played Heavy Rain. We've played Beyond Two Souls. And then, I believe there's another one I can't think of, but I know we played it. Cody played it, so yeah. It's a PK! 
Iching, I'm dying because I love all of these art styles and I want to make my own like it and then make my style. I'm dying, help me. Um, I, I can't style something that just kind of happens as time goes on. I just have to keep practicing. How do you get people to buy your commissions, lol? Uh, like I said earlier, just put it out there. You, there's nothing else you can do besides put it out there and see if it'll hook. Um, it took me a long time to get constant commissions and it all just depends on how active you are. Um, I was getting constant commissions when I only had like 500 people on DA and like maybe 800 on Fur Affinity. As long as you're active, that's all that people care about. Which is why I tell people just be active. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Heavy Rain is so tragic. I loved Heavy Rain. I feel like I'm the one person who liked Heavy Rain because, I don't know, David Cage, that's what the guy's name is, yeah. Um, I really liked Heavy Rain because apparently I got, like, the hardest ending in the first try without even meaning to. I got the ending where, like, everyone was saved and I was like, my friends were like, oh, how'd you do that? And I was like, I don't know, I just, I just did, I guess, quiz. I had to open and close commissions between semesters. It can be hard to maintain a solid schedule when you have to take care of other things. Yeah, that's also very true. That's also very true. Uh, just so you guys know, I can only do this for about an hour, an hour and a half uh, before I have to goo. Uh, it's not that it's bad. Like I said, I just wanted to do this and hang out for a bit. How do you feel about Life is Strange? I never played it. I watched a Let's Play of it. I thought it was cool. I liked it. I, I, I didn't like the idea of the prequel. Eh. Kind of lame. I heard they're making a comic version of it, so I'm probably going to check out the comic version. Even though I know how it ends, so I hope it's a little different. I don't know. Or it goes into more detail about the world. Um, I was interested in that, like, um... In the world of Life is Strange, that one where it's like the uh, the amazing Captain Awesome or something like that with the kid, that seemed really interesting. I might I might check that out. Hey, whoa! Silent Hill Two is fucking terrifying. I feel like I'm the one person that wasn't scared of the Silent Hill games. I loved the Silent Hill games, all of them, but I was never like scared. They never scared me. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Do you have any characters that are just sticks? Uh, no. I have thin characters, but, uh, that's about it. <laughs> Do you have a Discord group? Um, I have one in the works, but it's gonna be only for patrons. Because, uh, here's the problem with the Discord group thing is a lot of people want to be able to talk to, you know, their idols and stuff. It sounds so weird saying that. I, I like, I, I feel, I, I know I sound so cocky. <coughs> God damn it. Um, but like the big thing is when people like make discord groups and then the artist or the influencer or the gamer or whoever is not in it, like 24 seven, people get kind of like booty tickled. And so, with keeping it behind a Patreon wall, it'll, like, I don't want to say give me incentive to go in it, because it's not that, but it's, like, I'll, I'll be easier to manage it and to pop in here and there. Like, my current, um, my $25 patrons, they get, like, the special one I have right now while I'm working on it, but once I have the, like, actual Discord Discord group done, I'll have it be to all patrons, just, just so it's easier to manage, because, like, I can't have a mod in there 24-7 kind of thing. Michi is scared by nothing except but I fucking hate bugs. Oh, I, I will always hate bugs. I don't know why. I just, they fucking gross me out. Infinite marketing skills. Well, that's good to know. Uh, lizard, lizard dream Oedipus, Oedipus, if I'm saying you're using him right. Yeah, that's just it. You just have to keep going. Just keep going. Don't overly spam, but have them there. Be very active and you'll eventually get it. Michi, when you had those part-time jobs, did you work a lot? I've been struggling to balance work and art. Yeah, I worked a lot. I think the only job where I didn't work a lot was when I worked at Target. But I was also going to school at the same time. So it was like a weird 50-50. But um, 
when I worked at Target, no shade to Target, because I loved working at Target. Target was one of the few jobs I had, like, a great time working at. The only reason I wasn't, uh, I, I didn't uh, stay on was because of, um, uh, corporate being dumb. It wasn't just me. It was a lot of, a lot of people being dumb, but, um, I would only work at most like 16 hours, which isn't even like, you know, a full day's work. So I wasn't making that much money, but then I would also take like jobs on the weekends. And I, I've always been a workaholic pretty much is the gist of it is I've always been a workaholic. So it's been just easier for me. But, um, yeah, so I got, went, you know, part-time work, part, uh, went to school, other part-time jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what did you think of the game ending options in Life is Strange? I liked it a lot. I, I, I liked that they, uh, talked about the whole time travel, time, time travel, blah, 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 time travel theory thing. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. That's weird. I don't know why they would do that, but thank you for the like. I should be studying my driver's manual, but I'm lazy. Study the manual! Don't do like Markiplier's Discord, the hacky Discord. Yeah, I know, exactly. Quick question. Um, Is it weird to like the taste of your own blood? Nah. I mean, I'm pretty weird. Like, if I like bite my lip or something and I taste blood, I'll be like, mmm, blood. But then if I like have a cut or something and then I like try to like stick my finger in it to stop it. I'll be like, ugh, blood. I don't know. I think it's weird. Where's Zodiac? Probably camp. I, I, he's at like a, I shouldn't say circus camp. It's not circus camp. He's at like a, um, uh, I believe it's like a theater camp thing. Let's see. I did a scuttles and Michi with my long, small body with the amounts of leg. I'm a but. No! Ugh! Rude! <laughs> Michi, I love you. Oh, well, I love you, too. Thank you. My hair. My hair. Um, any writing tips? Uh, read. Read a lot. I, it's, like, really lame, and uh, but it's true. When you read a lot, you see different points of view, you see different stories, and then it inspires you for the kind of thing you want to do, so. Read. Read. Um... Michi, is it good to have more than one style? Like, say you have really start cutting any style. Yeah, no, it's 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 much better. It is much much better to have a adverse portfolio of styles and things you can you can just pull from than just one thing because especially if you want to like get a job in the industry or even get a job with like indie games or whatever or just some game developers. Um, it's like very specific, but it's true. Uh, if you have a certain style. Or you can move styles and do different things that you're more likely to get hired because you can do different things than just this one thing. It's sort of like, uh, think of it like having a very fancy steak dinner. You know, if you could eat a fancy steak dinner every day, you probably would. If it was like a really nice one, you know, like a really, really good steak. But, you know, sometimes maybe you want to get a lobster. Sometimes maybe you want to get some fish. Maybe you want some chicken. Who knows? Maybe you want to go full vegan, but you want to have a nice meal. And so it's nice to have those options there than just the really, really nice steak. Oh, Blue Tashi, thank you. I'll check it out when the stream's done. My advertising design teacher is a brother into styles. He says the problem with that is that people can have a hard time identifying him. What is that? That's true, too. That is true. It, it, like I said, almost anything in the art world and art community is a double-edged sword. <laughs> Michi, I'm a vegetarian. Please, the option are not okay. I'm calling the police. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I'm happy you liked my my food analogy. <laughs> oh wow, 111 pe 110 people are watching right now. Hi guys. But I mean, I guess okay, to talk back on one thing about like this someone asked was you should be doing stuff because it's what you want to do. Like I used to stream all the time even if I'd only get like two people in a ch in a stream. If that, I would just stream to stream and it was great. You know, I, I don't know. Like, you should do things you want to do, not... Yes, you want people... Oh, my God! Who's messaging me? Oh, it's Christian. Hi, Christian! Uh... 
Uh, let's see. I would say I'm hungry, but I just ate. Should people keep old art even if it's garbage? Yes, because you see where you came from. I don't think you should look at it every day, but I think you should keep it in like a box somewhere and then just be able to have it. Watching this while I clean my room. Well, thank you. Oh my god! <laughs> I have to mute my phone. Alright, I'm gonna actually, uh, you said so disappointed that I was Christian. No, I wasn't disappointed. I was just like, what the heck? Because he's usually at work right now. Is it weird to hate bugs but love reptiles? I'm in the country. Yeah, me. I love reptiles and I fucking hate bugs. So I actually just streamed before you started streaming. Oh, well, cool. Have you ever been in one of those I love art phases? Uh, can you explain that more in detail, Sans Sans? And with that, I'll be right back. I'm going to get myself a yogurt. It won't take long. But please, please explain more about that. I want to know what you're talking about. Okay, I'm back. I have peach yogurt. <laughs> Anybody else like yogurt or am I weird? All right, let's see. Um, Michi, what are your thoughts on if you take a commission, but then you're unhappy taking that commission, like, if they haven't paid yet, what do you say? If they haven't paid, just say you don't want to do the commission. Well, you got something... Uh, okay, so... When you're a commission artist... Sometimes you have to give refunds. Sometimes there's commissions you don't want to do. If you can afford to... Which is why I always say... Um, <clears throat> don't ever spend the money that you've gotten for your commission until the commission's done. Um, you're going to get assholes out there... You're going to be people who want refunds and they deserve a refund. If you haven't started the work, if you haven't started the work, cause it's very important. Um, cause I've had people like I give them a finished product and then they want a refund. No, that's bullshit. That's not how it works. You don't go to a restaurant, eat a whole meal, order dessert and three drinks. And then when you're done, be like, mm, didn't really like it. Even though I ate all of it. So I'm not going to pay. I mean, you, you can, you'd be an asshole, but if you're, if you didn't fucking dine and dash, you can get the cops involved. It's fucking rude. Um, a good thing to do is like, and if you've started, but you haven't finished it up, uh, upgrade, upgrade. No, um, you want to, um, refund up to what you finished. So use myself as an example, cause I've had this happen before. Um, this person commissioned me for a full body. I think it was two characters. A full body cell shaded and I, I had just gotten the inks done when they weren't rude. They asked me, they're like, Hey, I know it's taking a while. Um, I can use the money back. Can you refund me? And I was like, yeah, I can refund you up to the inking phase. And they were like, Oh, okay. Uh, cool. And then I gave them the inks and then I gave them their money back and I never heard from them again. And we copacetic. It was good. But yeah. Um, if you haven't gotten paid yet, then just tell them that like things came up. You can't do the commission anymore. Do you have any tips on artists starting commissions? Um, that ASMR though. Uh, I said earlier, just have a commission sheet, have your rules very clear, um, give an estimated time frame. If you're like me and you live in a not so good environment, put that very clearly in case um, people ask. Cause it's taken me quite a while to get my commissions done. Oh my god. That's because I've only been able to actually work since we've been here this summer. God, peach yogurt so good. Mm. I love me some yogurt. Let's see. Um, 
Do you have any tips on artists? Oh, yeah, I already said that. Um, thoughts on the whole Cristalli thing? I don't know who Cristalli is. If you want to go into detail, then um, I can give my thoughts on that, but I don't, I don't know who Cristalli is. Um... See, um, KY to Kitty Jeff, you want to be very careful with that because there are people out there who will who will try to scam you out of that. That's why, like, it sucks to say, but it's better to get paid all up front unless you know the person because you can get scammed. I've been scammed. My friends have been scammed. And then you've done all this work and you're not even getting the full payment. It's not worth it. Unless it's people you know. I mean, PK, it's true, though. <laughs> no problem at all. Um, the community letters finished if it was for a dude who was rather condescending towards me. Finish it anyways, because it was 60 bucks in my pocket. And that's a good thing to do. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Is like, being a commission artist, it's not like most artists on YouTube. It's really not. Most artists on YouTube, one, they're fucking hobbyists. They're not artists. I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with being a hobbyist, but I, I, I don't know. Whenever I see people, it would be like if I gave advice on how to watercolor. I'm not a professional in watercolor. I, I'm just learning it now. It would make no sense for me to give advice on watercolors when I've barely used the medium. I see a lot of artists on YouTube who are like, yeah, I've taken like two commissions in my entire life. Let me tell you how it went. And I'm like, that's not, you're not a commission artist. You've done commissions. But you don't, you haven't done it as a job. Which is fine. You don't have to. But don't give advice on shit you don't, ah, my water! But don't give advice on shit you don't know about. <laughs> Let's see, um. He's the person who traced art and there's a million rants on him. His YouTube's called Cristalli. Oh, okay, I might check it out. I don't know. I've never heard of him before this moment, so. In doing commissions, do you send them prints or just digital files? And what if they're outside the country? Um, yeah, I give them digital files. I've never had someone ask me to make a print for them. I could. I see no problem in that. I could totally get make your commission into a print and then have it shipped to you. But that's going to cost more. I was trying earlier on Horton. It's going to cost more. But I can do that. Me too, since you have a Huey on, did you get rid of your Cintiq 13? I did not, um, just in case anything was to happen to my Huey on, and I have a backup, so. I still have it. It may seem rude, but I don't think hobbyists should talk about commissions. I'm an aspiring commission artist, and I've already done more than the artists on YouTube. Yeah, no, I'm the same way. Like, when I saw some of the bigger art YouTubers talk about commissions... And then talk about how they're like, well, I did this for a friend or I've done less than 10 in my entire time doing art. I'm like, then you're not a commission artist. Don't give advice on commissions. It's a, it's a completely different field. Hello. And so it just, I don't know, it gives people a bad idea because then they, they think if you want to be a commission artist that it's going to be easy when it's not. In fact, it's one of the least easy jobs in the art world, but at the time it was all I could do, and I like it. Yeah, not all of them are fun, but I like it. I don't know. I like seeing other people's fun characters and what they come up with and getting to draw them. Would you ever consider doing an animation meme if I had the time? Honestly, that's kind of why I made my Patreon. Uh, well, I made it for another reason, too, but a big reason was I've had my stories for years and I've never been able to put time aside to work on them because I've always had to do commissions and I've always had to make money. I mean, I still I still kind of have to make money, but <laughs> I'm, I'm not rolling in dough. Don't think I'm rolling in dough. I'm not. But it's given me time so that I can work on things like uh, here. I'll show you guys this. Um, let me find my files real quick. Like, with Patreon, it's been giving me the ability to work on traditional mediums again for practice. To, excuse me, I probably burped right into the mic. To actually work on 
actual illustrations. Um, let me find. Well, no, that one went up today. Well, here's one. And these pictures will eventually become public later on, but patrons get it first because they're helping support me be able to do this once it loads. I was able to work on this thanks to patrons. You know, I was able to take time aside, work on an illustration with my character and a little bit of her world, and be able to work on it and be able to, you know, be proud of it. Oop, 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 nope, nope, that's not what I wanted. I'm so used to the other thing, but yeah. This was the uh, the illustration for last month. I still have to make the one for this month because this month just started. But because of that, you know, I, 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 I'm happy I get to finally work on things. Let's see. Um, Hold on. How can you tell if you're just a hobbyist? Because I do art almost constantly. I want to do commissions, but when is someone a real artist? Okay, I'm not... A lot of people are artists. I shouldn't have said it like that. Um, that's on me, Danny, probably. Um, but the difference between a hobbyist and an artist that makes money is that a hobbyist does it for a hobby. You can make money off of your hobby, but it's not how you keep the lights on, how you eat, how you buy food, how you pay bills kind of thing. A hobbyist is it's your hobby you do for fun. How's Aerofex doing? She's doing okay, from what I know. I'm actually going to see her this weekend, so I'm excited about that. <coughs> uh, do you mind sharing how to do such a thing? Yeah, sure. Uh, someday I'll, I'll do how easy it is to set up charms. I use Zap, so they're really easy. There's other things you can go through, so. What if someone commissioned you to do an animation meme? Yeah, but that's going to be a really expensive commission because that would be a lot of time I have to put to that thing. So that would be a really expensive commission. But yeah, if someone wanted to commission me to do an animation, they might be all for it. But I'd also tell them I've never really done an animation before, so it might not come out that well. <clears throat> what was your first ever commission? It was a friend of mine in high school when I was trying to get a cage for my chinchilla. That was my very first commission. I think it was like $5 for like a full like eight and a half by 11 Copic drawing. Oh no, the stream cut out. Are we good? Are we back? Are we back? <clears throat> oh my god, Michi's finally turning into- I know! I know! <laughs> yeah, Wyvern works. That's why it's better to have your payment up front because then they're not as easy to do that and be an asshole. Um... How do you continue to create artwork, pieces you can be proud of when you're struggling with extreme anxiety and bad life circumstances? Um, I know exactly what you're talking about because I was going through that really hard back living with my in-laws. But um, I think the best thing to do, this might not be the best advice, but it would be to push through it to show everyone they're wrong. Like, I've had a lot of people do that to me where they would tell me how it's like, oh, it's useless, it's pointless, get a real job, you'll have constant payments, and yeah, 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 you won't have to worry about money as much. And I'm like, yeah, but I know people with finger quote real jobs who are struggling just as much as I am now, so what's the point? And hi, hi, Salty Prince. You could charge like 300 for an animation meme, to be honest. If I wasn't 12 and didn't have money, I would buy one. Yeah, I mean, starting price would easily be 300 bucks. Like I said, it would have to, like, it would have to be something I could, like, it'd be more than 300 bucks, I think about it. It'd have to be something I'd be able to dedicate, like, a whole week to working on. Uh, oh, well, ooh. Rosie May, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um... Honestly, when things like that happen, I know it sucks, but you need to think about your health right now and you need to think about like your mental health and your boyfriend, obviously. So the best thing to do is don't push it because if you push it when you're in a state like that, um, you're not going to end up creating anything you like. It's going to give you more stress. You should just stop, find another hobby, relax, spend time with friends and do a lot of self-care. Man, you have a fuck, do you draw hands? You... I can never draw them. I 
you think I draw hands nicely? I think my hands are terrible. But, um, by the way, not sponsored, because this is a paid app, but, um, Zodiac told me about this app. It's called Handy in the App Store. It's I think it's like $2, and it's great. I, I've Ever since I've gotten it, my hands, I feel, are so much better. Get the Handy app, not sponsored. It's like $2 on the App Store. It's great. Gordon Ramsay's on TV. My age just got better. Yay! <laughs> I mean, it's true. I know it's like a bad thing to say, but when people bring you down and tell you you can't do something, to me the best feeling is proving they're wrong. Not telling them they're wrong, proving them they're wrong. Because anybody can tell somebody that they're wrong. It takes real effort to prove someone wrong. Michi, why did switch from Android to iPhone? Um, because I really want to get an iPad. <laughs> I know it's lame, but I really, really, really want to get an iPad and an iPencil. I was able to play around with my friends, and I feel like it would help my workflow so much. Obviously not for videos, but, like, just getting work done and working on things, I'd be like, oh, it'd be so much nicer. Again, metric ton, like I just said earlier, prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. Don't just tell them wrong. It's the only way. It's it, it's the only way to do it, is by proving someone you can do it when they don't believe in you. <clears throat> um. Hey. So, do you have any tips on commission prices? Um. Well, a good rule of thumb is to go off of wherever you live's minimum wage, how long it takes to get the commission done on average, on average. Um. If you're using traditional supplies or not, because that factors into it. And then the bottom key line is just, would you pay for it? And if the answer is no, or if you're like, oh, this is too high, I wouldn't pay for it, then there's your answer. The big thing about art is art is very, very, very much a luxury item. And a lot of people don't like to think it that way. But it is. Art is a huge luxury item. No one needs art. You don't need art like you need food. You don't need art like you need electricity. You don't need art like you need clothes. So you have to sit and think if you had the money, cause don't say like, I don't have money. Like if you had the money, would your prices be fair to you? Would you buy it? Pretty much. Let's see. Um, uh, how would someone deal with toxic relationships? I'm having a hard time right now with friends. Um, Alexa arts. I actually plan on making a video all about that, like relatively soon. So that's a, that's a very long topic. I can't really just say in one go. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, how long have you been alive? I am turning 26 in November. Uh, Rizzy Rain, I have uh, tablet reviews on my channel, and all of them I do highly recommend if you're just starting to get out. I would suggest getting the Galmon over the Huion because you'll learn the programs and you'll learn about how to use digital art than just the tablet, I would really recommend the Galmon. And no, it's not because they sent me the tablet. I really do honestly recommend it. It's cheap, it's good, and it works really well. Um, <clears throat> do you have any tips for making comics, Michi? No, sorry, I don't make comics. Try Holly Brown or the Zodiac Lord. Uh, Koala T, just keep drawing. Keep drawing, and eventually it'll come back. Wow, I'm getting a lot of questions now. Like, now I'm getting a lot of questions. Jeez. Um, someone told me to lower my prices commissions because exactly what they said, it wasn't worth it. See, that's different. You don't... You can't think about what other people have to say about it. Because that's because everybody's going to want the cheaper product. Everybody's going to want the cheaper artist. The cheaper artist. Great grammar! They're going to want the cheaper commission. I've had people come to me where my commissions are relatively cheap. And they're like... Ugh. So and so does exactly this for ten dollars, and I'm like, well, then go to so and so for ten dollars. I can't afford that. It takes me too long. Sorry, you got to hold your ground. It, people are gonna be assholes. People are gonna try to argue. People are gonna try to barter. You got to hold your ground. Um, let's see. Do you know why my traditional art is way better than my digital art? I use a Walkman Tuos. Um, because you started off that way. I used to be the same way. 
when I started out drawing, I used just the traditional art and I hated digital art. And my digital art looked like ass compared to my traditional art. It all just depends on what you're working on. It's an Anna! How do you feel about a set commission price? Well, just this sketch is less expensive than fully done drawing. I mean, I think that's fine. Have you ever drawn someone else's OC for a commission like they wanted you to draw another artist character? Yes, but I make sure that I have proof that they're friends. So I'm not just like drawing a weird fetishy thing for somebody else, maybe. Like, I've had a couple of my friends commission me for one of their friends where it's like, hey, it's my friend's birthday and they love your art. Can I commission you? And I'd be like, yeah, sure. Or vice versa. <clears throat> but my commissions are no more than 700 points. Yeah, don't lower your commissions then. That's that's not even $7. Um, tips for avoiding all your characters' faces looking the same. First of all, it's going to look the same when you're learning. That's just going to happen. That's how it is. That's how it do. How it do. But um, a good thing is to just draw different shapes. And then make faces out of the shapes. Hey, Anna, you want to come talk to me? Anna! Michi, would starting out with a welcome into a straw tablet be good? I got one for Christmas, and that's what I'm currently using. I had an XP pen. It wasn't good for extra to draw. <coughs> Anna, hop on Discord. Let's talk rude um yeah i started off doing digital art with a walk of intuos but i really do recommend the galmon just for price reasons my yogurt's done okay bitch where is you Oh crap, I have to get my headset. I have to get my headset for this, bitch. Oh, my legs. <coughs> and my ears. Quies. Quies. Also, sorry, I have to have my fan on. It's starting to get a little stuffy. Where's the easiest place to find your prices? Uh, probably DeviantArt. What am I saying? DeviantArt's definitely the easiest place. Mm. I just said, um, Wise Marmalade. Best way to go is to have... Bottom line, just go with the, th with the whole, would you buy it? Again, would you buy it? Would you pay for it? Kind of thing. Yeah, then update your commission info. Alright, let's see how this works. Hello? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, you are so loud. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my loud. I don't know, you're really fucking loud. I have the mic so far away from me right now. <laughs> I don't know, you were really, really loud. Am I still loud? No, no, you're better now. You're good. Okay. <laughs> uh, yay. I feel like I haven't spoken to you in like seven years. <laughs> I know. Well, I mean, your father-in-law's been in town for like... Because I remember uh, back in freaking the start of July, I was like, hey, Chris, are we hanging out for your birthday? And he's like, dad's still here. And now it's like the start of August and he just now left. I know. He. It was... I think he came here mid-June. <laughs> and was here the whole time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it was like, <sighs> that's how my soul felt the whole time. Um, oh, the marked books aren't out, but I know for a fact there's going to be a, at least four, at very least, with everything I have out, like written. Sorry, I'm still answering questions. <laughs> that's fine. That's the whole I, time I, to I, the stream. I know, but I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Wait, not, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. You're coming over? No, no not no. No, not tomorrow. I'm a fucking idiot. I mean this weekend. Yeah, Chris told me. He asked yeah, me to. Chris, don't tell me nothing. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna be over on Saturday. Oh, tomorrow wow. tomorrow I have to get work done. Like, 
I was not informed of this, so this is news to me. <laughs> well, Chris is a hoe. We know this. We know this. <laughs> Ugh. I feel like I've been awake for ten hours, but I know I haven't. <laughs> me! Big mood. <clears throat> also, any advice for working to be an aspiring writer? Read. It's like referencing with artists. I don't. If you I want to get good at writing. You gotta read. I don't. I don't, I don't understand. Drawing, like I'm not knocking on you, but I hate people who are like, "How do I get better without practice?" It's like, bitch, you're not getting better. Yeah, if you don't practice, you don't get better. And, and I love people's excuses. It's like, uh, I don't have time to read. I'm a writer myself, and I'm like, well, then your that writing doesn't is make sense. then your writing is probably gonna be ass. You need to read. You need to reference. Oof. Oof. So, bitch, when are we doing the Twisted Dracona podcast again? People keep asking me about that. Uh, yeah, I've had a couple people ask, and I'm like, I don't know, whenever we stop being stupid and actually hey, hang hey, out. <laughs> hey, I have been willing the past couple of times we hung out, but you're like, no. It's too hot. <laughs> I say as, I, as, as, as I've been dying. Hello? Yeah. You just, you, you, like, stop mid-sentence. Oh. Sorry, might have been connection. I just feel completely mentally drained. <laughs> oh, trust me, I know exactly how you feel. Because, like, uh... I, it's, it's been, I mean, I'm sure you've had it way worse because you've actually been living with your father-in-law. But, like, that's my life when I have to live with mine every uh, day. I know. And it's like, I know you had to deal with it daily. And I know I only have to deal with it, like, maybe twice a year. But mm -hmm. it's like, that twice a year kind of makes up for it. Oh, no, I know. I know. Which is why, like, I swear to God, I can't wait for us to... Uh, once we have everything paid off, we can actually start focusing on the move. That's the part that sucks right now, is, like... So, I'm gonna be doing the GoFundMe update video, guys. That's probably gonna go up next week. Um, I feel so bad asking for help, but I, I just... Oh, God. I got so pissed yesterday. What happened? Well, we went to hang out because I hadn't seen them in a while. And things had been kind of chill. It had been good. You know, but then we go over to the... I go over to my father-in-law's because Cody's um, other dad was having knee surgery. Oh, oh shit. Am I cutting Ooh. out bad? You cut out a little bit, but that's fine. Anyway, what's going on is uh, Cody's other dad's getting knee surgery, so me and my main stress father-in-law went to a coffee shop, and, like, everything was good. Like, now that he's on his medication again, he's, like, you know, standable. But then he brings up how he's like, yeah, we, like, took out a, like, 40k loan, and it's like, oh. Oh, my God. Oh, but you what can't- What happened to but, the $8,000 oh. with the stupid bathroom? I, I don't know, but it's like, oh, but you can't throw your only son a thousand dollars to finish off his wedding? No? Of course not. You want to finish your goddamn bathroom. Uh, but remember, he was making the bathroom because of you. Even though he did it before we were even fucking engaged. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, man, that man is a cantankerous bitch. <laughs> right? I just... And then in the same breath, it's like, he's like, oh, well, I don't want you guys to move far away because then I'll never see you. And I'm like, that's kind of the You're point. You're like, that's the fucking point. Like, that's kind of the fucking point. You <laughs> chose like, 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 well, it, well, it makes, well, it makes me mad. It makes me mad because I'm sitting here like, I know I'm like spelling all the tea, but fuck it. I've talked about this before. <laughs> oh, uh, Blue Tashi says, Aerofix, have you seen the gift I made for you on DA? They made you a gift. I, I have just logged into DeviantArt like two seconds ago, so. So let me hang on. I have I don't check DA every day, so <laughs> shit always piles up on me. Mm -hmm. So uh, give me time. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh, the whole moving thing. I guess I could explain this here. Me with my stepdad. I'll never see him again. <laughs> Fire. Yeah. I feel like I like lost like ten people when I started talking about this. But I'm sorry. I haven't talked this bitch in forever, and I want to talk about it real quick. Um, then I promise I, know, I will, I will like, go. I, I promise I will go back to the like stream. And months. it's been it has been like two months I because know. of your father-in-law. Like <laughs> exactly. Because like every time I'm like, can I just come over and hang out? And Chris is like, it's not a good time. And I'm like, it is oh. not a good time. It's just it's just best not to have. Quiz. 
anybody over when he's here, so it's just no. I get it. Are you gonna to make avoid the issues? Are you gonna make a dramatic exit <laughs> when you finally move? No, but we're gonna have a long talking too, because like someone was asking me, um, like how do you deal with it? How do you deal with toxicity? And I'm like, well, kind of have to, or else we'll be homeless. So yeah, like <laughs> like once we're not in that situation anymore, um, doesn't fucking matter. But that's, like, the big thing is uh, big mood. But, no, um, like, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, where we live, Anna knows this, and she can attest to this. But we live in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. And Cody's dad decided to move out here. Because originally, um, Cody's family lived originally in Upland, which wasn't that far from where my parents were. And then they moved to where my parents were, like, in the same town you know started dating everything was fine they could actually afford where they were living like they had a really nice house i know you didn't see that house I, but chris did they had a really nice house when they were living in fontana yeah i never saw that house i don't yeah. know why but like you kept thinking i was there and i'm like no, i know i, I kept there. thinking chris was that's why chris was there yeah i wasn't yeah <laughs> And so, all right, love you, love you, smutches. People are leaving, but um, yeah, like goodbye, people. But then they decided to, and the reason is is such a stupid reason. They're like, oh well, because Cody's grandparents live out here, but they've always lived out here because they don't care. They wanted the land. They don't care about the area. They don't really leave their house, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? They're they're very much they retired. Their people are routine. It's all good. And so, why would they leave? It just got to juicy gossip time. <laughs> but um, his thing was that he was like, we want to buy a house by Nan and Pap to take care of them. And I'm like, but then why did you buy Nan a house? Nan and Pap don't but, want you there. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Nan and Pap don't care. They can handle themselves. <laughs> like, they've told us. Seriously, like if Nana was to pass away first, we don't want that to think about that, but her health is not that good. Pap is like, fuck it, I'm moving to Washington. Screw it. And yeah. if Pap goes first, Nana's not going to be that long after. Not that she would kill herself, but again, she's already got really well, bad yeah, health. It, yeah, it's it's kind of like we've kind of predicted that with like Chris's grandma, if like grandpa goes first she's mm -hmm. probably not gonna last much longer after yeah like like a year <laughs> so like, like, like a year tops yeah i have a bitter hatred for your soon to be in-laws a lot of people do anna does a lot of my friends do there's this there's, 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 there's a lot i would love to talk about but i literally can't until i move it's like i've rescued this bitch from having to get out of her house because it's been so toxic there yeah <laughs> yep yep that's exactly it um but that's that's just it is like there's that going on and then like so they decide to move out here where he just it, it like i can't i cannot stand people who are not grateful for what they fucking have it's like it sounds like such a like a basic thing to say but you would be surprised how, how many little don't. how many people <laughs> don't how many people have privileges and, and I hate saying that because it's like such a tainted word now because of stupid people online that it's like ah, Anna I have it so Anna, bad here Anna, Anna yeah you can't have privileges cause you're not white first of all Throwing, I'm half white I know I know I know I'm, I'm, I, I, it was a fucked I up I can only joke. have half the privileges I guess I know it was dumb but anyway like uh, sorry it's a really actually, fucked up joke yeah. actually I was denied school funding because they based me on my skin color which is white even really I, yeah because they didn't believe me that I was Mexican so they kind of refused to give me funding for school because I wasn't a minority supposedly <laughs> So yeah, school was not a fun time for me. Oh <laughs> that's my God. why I dropped out of college. <laughs> me. Mood. I mean, that's not the reason why, but mood. <laughs> well, I dropped out of college because of other reasons, but... No, I really know, I know. <laughs> no, I know. But like, okay, here's what I mean by like people who don't care about their privilege is like... So we had this friend who 
had everything paid for. They're over the age of 18 to where their job was literally only fun money. Everything was paid for. They didn't have to pay any bills. They didn't even have to put gas in their car to work in school. They didn't have to buy their own lunches. So their job was literally for fun money. They had no bills. But then this friend would go to us and be like, well, I need help. And we were like, bitch, do you not realize the help you have? You literally have everything handed to you. Yeah, and this is what I'm talking about with people who like, oh my god, I relate so much. I'm half white and half Mexican, and I'm so pale. I have light brown hair. It's such a mood. Uh, yeah, I have the dark hair. Mm-hmm. I have the dark hair, but my skin is as pale as an apparition. So people just assume I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's okay. People think Cody's white, too, until they hear his last name. Yeah. (laughs) Like, I didn't even believe Cody was Mexican, either. (laughs) That's California! Everybody's breeding with everybody. Sooner or later, we're all just gonna be a nice beige. It's not gonna matter anymore. (laughs) Yeah. I mean... I have gotten so much shit for that comment, too. They were like, what are you saying? I'm like, I don't care. Let everybody fuck everybody. Let's make the human race a nice beige and get over it. Beige color. But, uh... (laughs) Michelle, you live in Southern California, so you're basically Mexican by default by hanging out around. <laughs> Is that how it works now? Yes, that's how it works when you live in Southern California. Everybody's just part Mexican, whether they realize it or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But no, uh, just like, okay, so back to what I was talking about originally with the whole privilege thing. So Cody's one dad makes a lot of money. I was talking to a friend about this where they were like, do they really make a lot of money or do they just live above their means? I'm like, no, they, they make a lot of money and live above their means. <laughs> like a lot. Like not, cause like that is a thing I do see people do where they're like, oh, I make 40K a year. I have a lot of money. 40K a year realistically in America is not that much money anymore unless it you live really in a, isn't. unless you live <laughs> in a state where the cost of living is really cheap. I'm not saying having 40K a year is bad, but I'm saying but 40K you're... a year isn't like upper class. It's not. Uh, especially not here. Mm-hmm. I'm poor. Spends all their money on crap. Yep! Yep! Yep, yep, yep. yep. You nailed it on the head. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Purebred white person here. It's okay. I'm the rare purebred white person in California, too. Yep. Michelle's super Jewy white Jew. <laughs> but I'm not a Jew anymore! <laughs> I haven't been one for years. I know, it's in my blood. It's in your blood. (laughs) No, no, Michelle. You're just Jew-ish. God damn it, Anna! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Pure bread. (laughs) Pastel pop back in. Hi, pastel. (laughs) Jewy white Jew. But no, seriously, it's just like... They could so easily easily have a good life but they don't because they live about their means Ugh. like Man. seriously if Cody and I made the money that Cody's one dad makes his other dad doesn't work we would have literally no problems like, like with money we'd probably still have problems but we wouldn't have we wouldn't have first of all we wouldn't buy a house that was out of our fucking price range we wouldn't buy a new car just because we could you know, we would have food in our house. We'd have our bills paid. Like, oh my god. I find it funny how we're such a nuisance. But since we haven't been there all summer, they've been suffering because they can't afford anything. Because oh, of our I rent. Why. <laughs> no, seriously, their air conditioning bro and remember this is after we found they took out the loan. So they already had like forty K. So they're like, Yeah, we can't afford to get the air conditioning fixed and we can't afford food and we can't afford to have our power running all the time and I'm like but oh, but, 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 but we don't help. This air can, let me tell you about this $8,000 bathroom we have. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> but, uh, guess what? We officially have some form of... I'm a bird! I'm a bird potato! And I used to live in California! I've never heard of it as a bird potato! <laughs> Anna, are you still there? Did I kill you? Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm just... I'm saying something. Saying you're part Hispanic, people assume you can speak Spanish. Uh, 
See, yeah, I'm Mexican, but the problem is, is I wasn't raised in Spanish-speaking households <laughs> because even though we were Mexican, we all uh, spoke English. Speak spoke English, so I never really picked it up. It's like I know a little bit, and I can understand it better than I can speak it, but like I don't speak it. So everyone gets mad at me when I don't speak it. I'm like, I'm sorry that everyone in my life spoke English. And I didn't take Spanish in high school because I could barely fucking pass English. Me! Like, I wanted, I actually wanted to take Spanish because I was like, fuck, I live in Southern California. This could be useful. And then it was like, nope, Spanish is full, take French. Yeah, my, I barely could pass English. And like, my grandma's like, you should take Spanish. And I'm like, I can barely fucking deal with the language I can, I kind of understand, okay? You think I'm dyslexic now? Watch me try to read Spanish words. <laughs> <clears throat> me, Tori, me. When I tan, I look like a normal person. I don't get tan. Yeah, I don't get tan either. It's like I me. burn. I burn like a lobster, and then I go back to being white. <laughs> but are you are you a sexy lobster? Well. That would constitute what you consider to be a sexy lobster. <laughs> I'm quite fat and frumpy and lumpy and tired, so I don't know if that makes a very sexy lobster. <laughs> uh, me. Oof. All you need to know in Spanish is un cerveza grande, por favor. Oh, that's one of them big old bears. <laughs> Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> Cerveza. <laughs> Cerveza. Why'd you have to say that? <laughs> because I uh, like to ruin everything. It's okay. I remember when I was talking to Pastel, like, for like, one of the first times, I was saying something like, oh, yeah, Anna was telling me all the chisme. And she's like, do you know what chisme means? And I'm like, I know it's not cheese. And she's like, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's because we call it. We call it the hot cheese. Yeah, because... We gotta tell you the hot cheese, but it's just cheese. <laughs> yes, it's one big beer, please. <laughs> oh, there was a... I had this friend. His name was William. Mm -hmm. But we would call him Squilliam as a joke from Spongebob. But mm -hmm. that's what we would call him in high school. But he took Spanish, so he would just come up to us and just say the most randomest shit in Spanish, like, uh, what was it? Can't remember what it was in Spanish, but he went up to me, and he's like, my favorite cucumber is super, super bad right now. <laughs> and he said it in Spanish, and I was like, dying. Well, that was like Cody, because Cody, Cody took Spanish, and he was saying how... Um, apparently the Spanish teacher, like, once they learned, would be like, okay, when you say hi, you have to introduce yourself in Spanish, and so... Cody once said, I'm not going to say it because I'm going to butcher it, but Cody said that he's like, yeah, I walked in and I pretty much said, hi, Mr. Morales, um, there's a, there's a party in my pants. How are you doing? And the teacher was like, well, you, you, you did what I asked. I can't be too mad. Uh, so yeah, if I actually like could learn a fucking full on foreign language, mm -hmm. I would just be a... Uh just saying obscene shit like that all the time. You're saying you would do the yells in Spanish meme? Yes, I would. <laughs> Have you, okay, no joke. You know that fucking meme where it's like cries in Spanish, stares you, in Spanish? No, you told me about that show. That show was so yeah, fucked up. It is fucked up. Like, Didn't freaking, you say that she like beats up a chick in a wheelchair and stuff? Yeah, she does. Like, It's from an actual Spanish soap opera and like Chris's mom was watching all of it. It's like 20 years worth of a fucking soap opera and like I actually saw the scene where she's like beating up this poor girl in a fucking wheelchair because the girl has like, I guess has a crush on her son and she's like get up! Get it up for him! <laughs> she's like this backstory and I was like, she's this child is in a wheelchair like what the fuck <laughs> calm your oh, titties it was uh it was intense but that's uh that show was wild <laughs> spanish soap operas are just fucking wild that's all i gotta say pesto <laughs> i love that episode so much <laughs> shit I 
I think that's what's fun about a foreign language, though. It's why, like, if you go somewhere and they don't speak English, like, some people will do the same thing where they'll just be, like, you know, uh, what was it? There was this one, um, where there was this YouTuber I watched. She wasn't a big channel or anything, but she used to teach in Japan. And so she went to, like, take her driver's license. And they kept calling her, because they didn't know she spoke Japanese, they kept calling her the white person. <laughs> and so, so when it came her time, she was like, thank you, Japanese person. And the guy was like, why did you call me Japanese person? And she's like, why did you call me white person? And he's like, ah, touche, white person, touche. <laughs> <laughs> like, Oh Oh my god, did you hear about what happened? Okay, you know that fucking Titans fucking trailer, right? Oh, the fuck Batman? Yeah, that one. Did you hear what happened? No, all I know is is fuck Batman. That's all I know. No, apparently the the chick that's playing uh, Starfire, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And first of all, I thought people were gonna bitch because she was black, right? Mm -hmm. Because I was just kind of waiting for that to happen because you know how people are. Yeah, how people on the internet are, yeah, same. Yeah, but you know what they bitched about? They what? scared her off of Instagram because she wasn't the right kind of black. Yeah, I never understood that logic. Like, what? Like that's so racist. Exactly. I'm just like, this is what happens when you let SJWs into your fucking media shit because now they're not just picking apart if you're black or not. Now they're picking apart of if you're not the right kind of black. Well, then... that's nothing. I had a, fr- I had a friend of mine who... A person came up to them and they didn't know that they were like mixed race. Yeah, and... apparently being mixed race now is fucking awful. No, they were saying they were like they were like trying like and like the best part was my friend was at work and it was like a customer was like they pretty much asked like don't you think that if if people want to mix the races that they need to take a test so they know their kids not confused and he's like like do you know who you see? yeah he's like he's like well he's like well i'm mexican and my my parents my other parents are white and they're like oh Oh, (laughs) i heard that too yeah that's so dumb i i just like why the fuck does it matter it shouldn't matter calm your tits i don't understand man but like when I was reading that, I was like, I feel bad for that actress. They mm-hmm. bullied her off of Instagram because she just wasn't the right kind of black. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I have no idea what the fuck that means. And they sound just as racist as the people they're trying to, you know, hate for mm-hmm. being racist. Well, yeah, it's like you have to be. It's like it's it. It feels like fucking Nazism, like in a real way. It's like it's like you're not the perfect kind of pure blood. And it's like the fuck does that mean? But again, see, they again, see again. I, 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 I petition. <laughs> I petition. Everybody fuck each other until we're a nice beige, and then no one's gonna care. Petition to have everybody fuck each no, other. No, 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 no. Michelle, doesn't... you don't understand. If we all became the perfect beige, then people would be like, "Well, I'm more beigey than you." I'm more beigey than you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know that's exact. Don't you remember the episode of Fairly Odd Parents where pretty much yeah, he wasn't the, everyone yeah. Everyone was the same. Everyone was gray, everyone was gray and gray. yeah. But you know, people were still like, "Oh, I'm more gray than you." Yeah, it's not. It won't change. It won't yeah. Change. <laughs> Science petition. Um, but okay. First of all, someone was asking, like, "Are you excited about the whole Teen Titans coming back thing?" I'm not, and here's why: because it seems really, really, really skeevy. First of all, I'm not holding my breath because they've already kind of said this about like that Teen Titans Go movie that yeah. they were actually basically holding the actual Teen Titans show ransom if the movie does well that's what I'm saying consider it and that's I'm what like, I'm saying and no, I don't I, I don't fucking trust that shit yeah that's because that's exactly like, oh, if the movie does well then we'll consider bringing Teen Titans back and it's like you're gonna hold your own show ransom yeah, really? and, and then like, and, this is and how Cartoon Network decides to handle their shows. So exactly, and and then how is it supposed to how is it supposed to work when like because let's be honest, Teen Titans Go, everybody hates it, but that's the money maker for Cartoon Network. They're not gonna sudden they're not gonna suddenly stop making Teen Titans Go to make Teen Titans. So you're gonna get it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like if it does come back, so I. 
I'm not holding my breath. Until I'm not I exactly see the on TV. I'm not even gonna bother. Well, even then, breath. even then, I'm not. I'm not even holding my breath for that. I'm not holding my breath for that because just whenever they bring a show back, they ruin it. Look at Powerpuff Girls. Look at like all this other stuff they're bringing back. Okay, just, <laughs> okay. Real talk though, I actually genuinely was excited for that show. I really, really wanted to give that show a fucking chance. Oh no, I did I too. Really I did. did. I did too. And I just fucking couldn't do it like i physically i couldn't sit and watch it i'm like this is fucking the worst worst way you could have brought this show back okay first of all first of all guys steven universe is getting a tv movie calm your titties i'm excited for it too but it's a tv movie it's not an actual movie in theaters because it said literally at Comic-Con, coming to Cartoon Network. It didn't say coming to a theater near you. Is that that Steven Universe movie? Yeah. Because people are like, are um, you excited about I'm the like Steven so, Universe? I'm so fucking behind on that show. <laughs> I'm so behind. It's okay. Um, I actually just finished recording my thoughts on the season and I ramble all over the place. So uh, you guys seem to really want that. That'll be out in a couple days. <laughs> Enjoy that. Basically, the last episode I fully watched was mm -hmm. when, finger quote, Lars dies. <laughs> and that was the last time I actually watched an episode, but then Cartoon Network, with their stupid airing shit, kind of killed the hype for the show for me. Mm -hmm. So then I kind of stopped watching it. Yeah, at no. This point, I've gotten to the point where I'm so sick of fucking Cartoon Network bullshit that I'm like, I'm just gonna wait till the fucking show's over. Yeah. And just finish watching it, because I'm just so tired of the way that they handle their shows. It's so no, I, 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 I completely agree. And it bothers me because... Everyone gets mad at the Kooniverse when they're like, the shows are done, the episodes are done, they have the episodes. It's like, okay, perfect example of how Cartoon Network fucked up and the Kooniverse was, was was screwed over was with the Bloodstone episode. And here's oh why. My God. And here's and here's why and, and here's so pissed at that well, episode. Well, and here's why. The Kooniverse was like, don't put that poster. People are gonna pee pissed off. That's not what the episode's about. And Cartoon Network was like, Psh I know. You I guys don't. Freaking, I saw their little advertisement for it, and I got super excited. But then they basically shot me in the foot. Well, that was it with everybody. Seriously, that's what happened. Was with that Bloodstone episode with that promo poster. Everybody got really excited, and then it was a Ronaldo episode, and the Crewniverse knew it. Like, oh my god, it was so funny. Um, I believe oh, not Pie Guy rules, but there were a couple people talking about it. Like, they actually dug up deleted tweets from the Crewniverse where they were all bitching to Cartoon Network about like we didn't want this poster. We didn't want this poster. We knew this wasn't in the episode. Cartoon Network knew this wasn't in the episode. They did not care. That's just the thing about like not just Cartoon Network but just networks in general is usually the people who have the show have no say in the marketing. It's why we got spoilers at the end of the big reveal of Pink Diamond. That's exactly why it happened. Was because that's Cartoon Network's marketing department controlling it, not the Crooniverse. They don't have anyone from the show actually doing it. It's a lot like movies and trailers. A lot of people shit on trailers most of the time, not all of the time, but most of the time, they have no say what goes in their trailer. They have to send a trailer company the footage they have done and then tell them what it's about and the trailer company has to put it together. And then if they're like, can you not have that That's a spoiler? They're like, well, then why? Just send me the footage. It's going to go in the trailer. Ugh. Yeah, so... Ugh. So that's that's why, like, because uh, Pastel said earlier, it's like, I just want my last season of Teen Titans. And it's like, I do too. I do too. But just with how everything is going with not just Cartoon Network, but all, all of the new, of the animation networks I grew up with, they're just running everything into the ground. They're running everything into the ground and they're trying to push their, their, their streaming apps because they realize it's a dieting medium. Cause like, okay, here's, here's something else. Like a lot of people were bitching about net neutrality and stuff. And yeah, you know what? Fine. It's not right. But here's the thing that's that a lot of people don't realize is that's pretty commonplace in a lot of other countries and they don't bitch about I it. I know. Like that's the thing is like so many other, like everyone in America was bitching about it. I'm like, but there's so many other countries that deal with this stuff. And they're like, it's not that bad guys. Like chill the fuck out. Cause here's, cause here's the thing that people don't seem to understand is 
First of all, the internet's not free in the first place. Like, that's the thing I don't understand. People are like, like, well, the, the internet's internet free. free. I'm like, no, you have to pay for internet. You've always had to you pay, for, to internet. pay for internet. If you're using it's data on your phone, free. you're still paying for it. Even if it's free, uh, even if it's unlimited, you're still paying for paying the internet. For it. Internet's never been free. It's, you're yeah. <laughs> and, and here's the thing, too, is like, uh, on that note, the big thing is that back when like cable became a thing a lot of people didn't realize because like i didn't but it was commonplace for a family to have a 200 hundred dollar cable bill to have like all the channels that was like normal and no one bitched mm -hmm. about it because that's what it was it was normal back then and so then you come out with these streaming services right where it's like wait why would i have cable when i can have amazon hulu Netflix, Netflix and YouTube Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll. but even then Crunchyroll is Crunchyroll and YouTube are free you know what I mean so the only ones you have to really pay for well, are yeah Crunchyroll you can is payable it is but it's also free you just have ads you can watch Crunchyroll for free a lot of people don't know that savages nobody wants to watch commercials but that's what I'm saying this is what I'm saying the issue is is like you know you don't need a $200 cable bill anymore because you can get almost everything off of Amazon, Hulu, and Netflix. And the other companies are realizing that. It's like, yeah, why would I spend $200? That's what, that's what we did. We literally cut off all of our cable mm -hmm. because we don't watch TV. We li Literally everything we watch is on Prime, is on Hulu, or on Netflix. So we literally only pay for the our internet. Yeah. That's literally all we pay for. <laughs> and and the streaming services, but that's like not even 20 bucks a month, so. But that's 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 what I'm saying here is we're living I'm in all we're, about that blue diamond, by the way. We're living we're living in the age where the internet is taking over. And that's how it's going to be. Like internet Shh, is eventually going to Skynet is real. It, Skynet is coming. Oh my god, it is though. Skynet's coming, man. There's yeah. already a security system called Skynet. I know. Company, I know. And I'm like, I don't trust you. Yeah. Oh, uh, just so you guys know, I do have to end it in about 15 minutes because I have to head over to my parents, but this was fun. I'm still going to keep talking. Say hello but... to your mother for me. I will. Because, yeah, we're meeting with the DJ today, so. Once we get the down payment done on that, we'll be almost done with everything. I'm, like, so close. I can oh. taste it. I can cry. Um, but anyway, um, what I was trying to say was it's going to end up like cable because that's what it is now. You know, that is our, literally is just replacement cable. It's replacement cable, you know, and again, you don't need all of the networks either. That's another thing too. It's like, I remember my uncle would have like every cable thing, but barely watch TV and always bitch about his cable bill. And oh, my parents would tell, and my, par trailer. and my parents would tell him. <laughs> Why are you paying for HBO and Showtime and all this when you never use it? And he's like, well, just so I can have it. And she's like, but you never use it. It doesn't make sense. So when people are like, ah, well, why would I have to pay for all of it? It's like, you don't have to pay for all these things. If you never use them, then don't pay then for don't it. Don't pay for them. <laughs> but this and is on how top it's. Of that, yeah. Um, if you absolutely need the internet for your job, you can write that shit off in your taxes. Exactly! That's something else I bring up to people. Like, when you're self-employed, I'm like, there is so much stuff you can write off on your tax that you don't realize. Like, if you work from home, you can't write off your entire fucking house. That's fraud. Some people are dumb. I'm not saying you guys are, but there are some people on YouTube who are like, yeah, I'm gonna write off my entire house, and it's like, no, that's not how it works, dude. You can write off your office if a if it's not a sleeping room. So by that, a good example is when we move, we want to get at least a two bedroom place so I can have an office because then I can also write it off, but also because it's not healthy to work where you sleep. It's many things. But if even if I have a bed in my workspace, like as a spare room for when people stay over, if it's 99% of the time an office and no one lives in that room, I can write off that room. We can't write off the whole house, but you can write off that room. Also, that Venom trailer. Mm. Mm. Do you realize how many times I watched that trailer? <laughs> like, oh my god, everybody's shitting on it, and I'm like, guys, it's a I Venom. It's a it's a it's a, it, it's a Venom I movie. Calm your titties. 
first of all, how dare anybody ever bash him because he's beautiful and I love him. <laughs> also, his voice makes me want to scream because <laughs> I love those dark, horrible, gritty voices. Yeah, those, so those, much. those, 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 that grit dough. I know. I'm just like, please never stop talking. And I just wish someone could talk to me like that every day of my life. And oh that my god, you have a problem, Anna. I do have a problem. Like, I don't know. I just have an affiliation for like really dark voices like that. And I'm just like, please fuck me up, fam. Oh my god. <laughs> please, daddy. <laughs> uh, no, no, daddy kinks. <laughs> that grit. I'm a, I'm Anna Cochina. Oh, Cochina! <laughs> what is Cochina? Oh, she's basically calling me a piggy. A little, oh, a little gross little. little shit. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Like, there's only three types of people in this world: robot fuckers, alien fuckers, and monster fuckers. And I'm all three. <laughs> I come here to daddy jokes. <laughs> Not an, isn't that a fetish, Anna? What? <laughs> People are asking. The what whole, fetish? The whole monster stuff. Oh, yes it is. See, like, I, I love monsters. But see, I'm like on the middle spectrum of monster fuckers. Um... There's some people that take it a little too far that even I'm like, <laughs> that's there's a line to the fuckable line and I don't cross that line. Are you saying you don't want to partake in the fucking What'd you say? You cut off. I said you don't want to partake in the fucking See, when someone straight up wants to fuck Godzilla in the asshole, I'm like, <laughs> no. ew, 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 like, ew. I, like, I, I will cut off Godzilla. I will give Godzilla many hugs and many smooches and cuddles, but I will not fuck Godzilla in the ass. <laughs> no, Anna! Pistol poor Godzilla! <laughs> the fucking Is that our- is that's my new movie? Well, no, because Cody said that, like, when we were out and the birds were off in the trees squawking, I put it in my newest vlog, and Cody was like, they're here. It's the fucking And they screamed and they stopped for a second and I fucking lost it. And so ever How since then. Him? He's huge. Don't underestimate the power of people with fetishes. They will find ways. Exactly. That's that's called macro and micro, everybody. Yeah. The more you know. It's like one See, of those things like, where you're like, like, no, it's one of those things where you're like, you know, I've had too much internet for today. I'm good. I have had my dose of the internet and I'm just gonna not. I'm just gonna go and not deal with this right now. For me, it's like, okay, the monster, like, the beast in question needs to at least be reasonable sized. <laughs> I don't need it to be the size of, like, a city. <laughs> Damn. Meet you still there? Or are you dead? Yeah, no, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Sorry, I'm just checking my bank account real quick. I am trying to get back to checking messages, but... You can do it. Can I draw Cody like screaming it... at birds? Oh, please. Please draw Cody screaming at birds. That will make me so happy. <gasps> Pastel, I'm not nasty. I just have issues. <laughs> I mean, but that means you're nasty. You a nasty hoe. I, I'm a fucking nasty bitch. But you're my nasty hoe, so it's okay. Yes, I'm your nasty hoe. <laughs> Well, hey, since I'm coming over Saturday, we can actually do a Twisted Dracona podcast. We could. We, we should. Could we this. should. People want it. They want it. Quice. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> I'm just Skadoodle, skadoodle. Godzilla's dick is now a noodle. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. This, that kind of reminds me of a post I saw, like... What was it? I think it was like over a year ago, right? It was on Tumblr of all places, of course. Uh huh. But so, okay, this was, uh, no, this was a right around the time the Avengers Age of Ultron. Oh, God, when everybody out. wanted to fuck Ultron? Oh, my God. 
he's such a daddy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm kidding. But honestly, fuckable robot. Just no, like, no, you're not even kidding. You're half kidding. Don't even lie. The daddy part, I'm kidding. But the fuckable part, not. But anyway, people were, like, drawing tons of fan art of, like, Ultron, right? And I was, like, going through the Ultron tags. I was like, oh, this is really good art. <laughs> but then I found a post that I literally physically <laughs> <specifically> screamed. <laughs> Okay, because obviously Ultron has had many different forms in the comics and stuff. Yeah. Like, he's even been, like, a fucking ship and stuff. He's been a ship? Like, an actual boat ship. Oh, my God. Wait, I think yeah. I, you, I think you showed me this picture. I think I know what you're talking about. Keep going. But, yeah, it was a, it was just a mass post of all the different forms of Ultron, and every every single one of them had a corresponding penis drawing. Ew! Ew! <laughs> So even the even, ship even the ship even the ship they decided to take the ship picture and they're like if he had a dick this is what it would look like and oh my God. I, the creativity that these these are this artist had i was like wow I'm actually intrigued because your creativity is unmatched. Oh my god, okay. That was me when, like, freaking Star Dragons came out with the penis, like, compendium. And I was like, why is this a thing? Why? Or the weird tentacle penises. That's what I mean! Tentapines! Honestly, would draw one of those. No, but they have different ones now. They don't just have the tentapine. They've added more that are, like, really fucking weird. Wow. They were like, crazy. like, like they were like, yeah, they're like, here's what star dragon dicks look like. Here's the star eater dick. Here's the shooter dick. Here's the, the shooter dick. I know. Here's the shooter dick. Here's the robber Which is dick. Funny because shooters are my favorite. <laughs> I know. Uh, out of all the star dragons. And I was like, why can't they just have a normal looking peen? They used to have a normal looking peen. And they're like, no, we're going to give you a weird tube thing. And I'm just like, ugh. You know what? Some people are into those weird tentapines. <laughs> Some people just like them. <laughs> this this live stream is cursed. <laughs> I swear to God, anytime I'm in any live stream, oh I my God, Anna, <laughs> Anna, come hop on my deck. Hop on my deck. <laughs> How big is your deck? What is it made of? Wood. <laughs> oh my lord, what's going on here? We we were we, we were talking about random things and now we're talking about like too much internet. Like when there's this like you know, it's the sad truth of the internet. If there's something out there, there's porn of it somewhere. Is that why I never see any Jesus porn? I know that's a thing. I've Is I've it? I I've I seen I've seen it and I've not seen it by choice. A freaking person at Dakota's going away party showed me that. They were like, "Here, Here's how he can get this is this was like you know I don't normally say this but I felt like so bad for Christians in that moment cuz it was really gross. <laughs> it was like it's like why why I know people say fuck Jesus but don't literally fuck Jesus. That's not very. Well that ain't Christian. That ain't Christian. I literally just joined what the fuck. Oh god. I'm sorry guys. I fuck up everything. If they're all different star dragons, will they have different Ds from each other? Yes, yes, they do. And they actually went into detail of how, like, the female vaginas are different, too. And I'm like, you know, sometimes there's a little too much creativity going on here. I feel it's like, like I feel like I don't. that's actually important. Yeah, like, I don't need to know how deep, how this video is so going to get. I have to probably take this video down. I probably can't even keep this on my channel. Because just, Well, just, you can keep it up there. It just won't be monetized. All of my streams are basically demonetized, but I leave them up there because they're funny. <laughs> this is true, pastel furries. Why? You know what? Furries are weird with some of their weird ass shit, but you know what? You do you. Yeah, you do you. Just please don't fuck my dog if you're into that. <laughs> ew, ew. Yeah, no, that's illegal. I mean, it's not, but it should be. That bothers me. Oh, no, like, no, 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 no. Uh, it, it, there are st there are states in the states that where that's fucking okay in fact i saw a video a couple of years back of some girl on youtube bragging about how she has sex with her dog and how ew! it's so much better what? than any guy she's ever been with ew ew ew, ew, like, ew, ew, okay. ew 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 it's ew okay. it's legal in my state ew i don't care i don't care i don't care it's disgusting that poor dog 
And for me, I'm just like, that's fucking animal abuse, man. It is! It's disgusting! Ew, 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 ew! I don't even like, want to think about it. That doggo has no idea what the fuck is going on. That's oh my god, abuse. someone in the chat! Oh, I remembered that. Is that the oh, person- this- PK's asking if that's the person who also drank dog piss. Probably! Um, I don't Probably. know, because I've- I only ever saw that one video of that girl where she was just talking about how she likes to fuck her dog, and I'm like, oh, this dog, someone rescued it. I, and that's, it, it's kind of like how, like, technically necrophilia isn't against the law, which I'm like, it, sh- it should be. I feel like it's- You're gonna get some weird zombie penis shriveling disease. Zombie penis shriveling- Okay, and with that, I have to go. <laughs> no, like, seriously, I do have to go. It's like, I've been on for- uh, I wanted to do an hour, but I'm already doing an hour and 30, so I do have to go. We're gonna just- we're gonna leave it on- on yeah, zombie pee. I'm gonna have to get back to work anyway. Yeah, so we're gonna leave it on 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 zombie peeing. I love zombie you guys. Zombie penis shriveling diseases. Now let that best go best your way mind. to end the stream. <laughs> on that note, we go. All right. I'm sorry. I, I promise. No, it's fine, <laughs> guys. I promise. I promise. I will. I will do more of these in the future because they are fun. And I love you all, Smetches. Goodbye.